on YouTube today, I'm going to show you a Dreamscape tutorial, and we're going to be covering up some of the, um, the basics, basically creating atmosphere, sun, and water. Okay, so, you can get the Dream Dreamscape plugin at Afterworks.com, it's their uh, website, okay, and they have other plugins you could use, okay, so, first of all, let's go to the render setup. And Dreamscape can work with the default Scanline Renderer or V-Ray. Okay, so I'm going to use V-Ray. So let's change this to V-Ray. If you don't have V-Ray, just uh, use this default Scanline. Okay, and let's change the output size to a high definition TV video. 1280 by 720. Okay, so now we're ready. Go to Lights, uh, Dreamscape, Sun. So whenever you're creating uh, something with a Dreamscape, you'll need a Dreamscape Sun. Okay, so just create one here, and you know just uh, set it up. Okay, and if you're gonna have the sun go down, it's gonna be dark. If you have the sun go up, it's gonna be light. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up at this angle right here. Okay, if you want to really follow, copy me uh, to get the same effect, you can follow. Uh, make sure you okay. You can follow the X, Y, and Z right here. Okay. Okay. So now that we have that done, we're gonna hit Control C to create a target camera from our perspective viewport. So make sure you have a really good view of what you're looking at. Okay. So. Once you have that done, we have our sun and camera right here. Okay, I'm gonna quickly look at this. I'm gonna move the target camera just a bit. Okay. Okay, so let's hit eight on your keyboard, and this is gonna bring up the environment and effects panel, just so we can edit, uh, and yeah, edit some of the environment for the atmosphere, because right now we have nothing but the sun, and basically we need some atmosphere there. Okay, let's add a dreamscape. Okay, so when you have the plugin, you should have dreamscape in the atmosphere. I always uh, open up the preview window just so I can see what I'm doing. And the preview is right here under the general parameters. Okay, so I should show you a picture of uh, what your atmosphere is like. So, you know, if you like it like this, you could just. Uh, not change any of the settings, but I'm actually going to scroll all the way down to the clouds and change the type to Cyrus. Okay, now we've got something going on here, and we can't really see the sun, so in our current viewport, let's just move it on the X. And if we refresh it, you could sort of have a look at it. Okay, okay. so. Just scroll up and let's see how the density looks like. Okay, so just change the density to like uh, seven. Okay, and the glow just the glow to like two and the H scale. You can see it here. If you turn it down, it's gonna become like a brighter. Okay, so let's just change that to like. Maybe six thousand nine hundred and thirty. Okay, and if you want like a rainbow, of course you can check that, but uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, and you know, maybe make it a bit dense. I'm gonna change it dance to like point two, and just bring that up. Okay, and you can have three D clouds, but if you check it, um, your computer will run slow. So that's why when you're using Dreamscape, it's best to have a really good computer. I use a computer with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM, so that's why it's not it's not going slow. Okay, and yeah, so I think that's gonna be our scene right here. And if you want if you want clouds, you should change the type back to to the original. Okay, but um, I'm just gonna. Uh, leave it like this. Okay, so we're done with the environment. 
I just close that and if we take a render you'll see that we have a sun right here okay so now for the water okay this is where it gets really realistic okay so you want to go to your geometry dreamscape objects okay so there's two terrace for like terrain and we're looking for sea surface okay so let's just create it in our top viewport and okay so the width change that to like 500 that should be good okay so we're just changing it to a low number just to decrease our public count just so uh, if you have a slow computer you'll need to make the numbers low because if we hit uh, 7 on our keyboard you see that our public count right now is uh, 2000 okay so the length uh, let's just change that to like uh, 1000 okay so yeah that's good and we want the water to be locked to our camera so you want to change the type from here to the adaptive mesh okay and not going to notice anything but if you now you have the ability to keep to pick the camera so you want to uh, pick camera and choose it okay so now you're going to see the difference the water goes straight and just expands like that okay so we're going to edit um, to an infinite plane it's really good if you're like using it for animation okay so and you know if we change to shaded you'll notice that yeah you actually get to see the water a little bit and basically just pull the settings um, under the waves parameters okay so I'm going to change maybe reflective to like 0.6 uh, wind speed up to like Maybe 8.6 height scale. Uh, let's see here, smooth as well. And uh, I'm gonna give it a foam. Okay. And maybe let's increase the foam thickness to like seven. And the actual foam to like uh, maybe 0.95. Okay, so that's good to go. I would say. Okay, so if we would render it right now. So that this is nothing changes. Okay, so that that's because we don't have a texture applied. Okay, so this a Dreamscape actually comes with uh, texture. So if you hit M on your keyboard and we're using the Compact Material Editor. So if you are using 2011 versions and up, uh, you have the Slate Material Editor. Uh, this material editor is uh, actually really good, uh, but uh, you know we're creating something really simple. So let's just change it to compact. Okay, so select your uh, first material. Okay, and you know you can always change the sample windows. Okay, I'm gonna change mine to like five by three. Okay, so let's at the first slot or a slot that that's empty and change it to a standard dreamscape C material so if you're using terrain you'll you'll choose terrain but uh, in, that, in this case we're going to choose the C material okay and if you open up the window right here you'll notice that now it creates a texture for us so if we would apply it with our uh, C surface selected apply it and you know if you would render this without any changes at all you'll see the effect it doesn't look that good like if you post this video on YouTube like an animation people will see like this looks really fake and you know it doesn't look that good okay so I'm gonna clone it and show you what's gonna happen after we actually change the parameters okay so sky color you want to change the type to dreamscape so it generates from our atmosphere and our actual sun okay and underwater color dreamscape subsurface 
And going down here, we, we'll need to add a couple maps. Okay, so bump map. You go to your maps, and you could actually search it. Just type in dream dreamscape, and you'll see C bump. Okay, so just click OK. And okay, so if you open up the preview window, you're not gonna notice that that much changes. But um, when we actually apply it, you'll see lots of changes happening. Okay, so let's go back. And since we have a foam, we also need a foam map. And again, uh, Dreamscape comes with a foam map. Okay, so C foam. Okay, and go back. So that's the settings we're gonna use and if you if you wanna uh, edit it you go to your C bump and maybe change the strength so if we open this up hopefully it's gonna show something here we could change the strength like let's say 0.3 okay let's go back okay, so now go in here go to parent okay so now we have got the parameters in here, and just apply it to the uh, water. Okay, let's take a render. Okay, so render. Okay, it's gonna take a bit long, uh, maybe one minute uh, for my computer, just because uh, we're using V-Ray. But if you actually use the default scan and renderer, it will. Uh, take a long time as well just because we change the settings here and to make it look really nice so you'll notice the effect right away how you see there's ref reflections going from the sun and the color is actually like real water going around here okay and it just looks really nice I would say in my opinion maybe if you don't like it, you could, you know, change the waves or uh, change the parameters in the material editor. Okay, so I think I'm going to wait for this to render. Just to show you the comparison between the original one and the one we have right now. Okay, so you notice that here is the time it's taking. Okay, so, so we're going to take about yeah, it's going like 1 minute and 20 seconds, maybe. Okay, your computer may take like, I don't know, 30 minutes if you have like a really, um, really bad computer or really slow computer without that much RAM. So, when using this plugin, it's important to actually have a good RAM. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Okay, okay let's just compare it. Okay, so if you leave the settings at default, you're gonna have this. But if you actually uh, edit it and you know change the sky color and underwater color, maybe add some bump, you will have a really nice effect. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Yeah, I hope this was, this was really simple because you know we didn't really do anything advanced. I would say. Okay, and also uh, the water is animated, so if you want to actually make an animation, if you scroll through the timeline, you'll notice that the water actually moves. Okay, and uh, remember how we set it to an infinite plane? Well, I want to show you the effect here. If we select our camera and move it, actually just move it on the Y. You see that the water always stays within the camera view. Okay. Okay, so. Um, yeah. A quick uh, animation tutorial. Or a quick um, object tutorial. So let's say you are modeling a character or, or you have a building and you want to know how to integrate it with Dreamscape. Well, it's really easy. Okay, so let's say I'm creating a building. I'm not going to really model here, I'm just going to create a box. Let's just show you guys real quickly. Move it in the viewport. Move it 
down and change the color to a very material. We apply it. Okay. And hit a four. Okay, so let's just change the color to this black. Okay, so you know you have like a building and maybe you want like a scene where the building is actually in the water. Okay, so if you were to render this, okay, so again, it's going to take quite a while, but you see, you'll notice that your objects you create will automatically um, interface with uh, Dreamscape. So you see that there's shadows here, there's everything going on. Just because we have our sun, we have the atmosphere set up. Okay, so yeah, you see these shadows going. Okay, that's what I was basically wanted to show you quickly, just if you want an animation. Okay, and if you're using, like, creating a boat or something, and you want the boat to actually interact with the water, um, I'm not really sure how to get to that effect, but I'm sure there's uh, tutorials for that. Okay, so I think that's gonna sum up the video of Dreamscape Water. And I hope you learned the basics of Dreamscape and how to create a simple scene uh, with water and you got your sun and you your object. Okay, so thanks for watching this quick tutorial on Dreamscape and I hope you get a really nice effect for your video. Okay, have a nice day and goodbye.